New developments tonight in the ongoing battle over speed cameras. The Ohio Supreme Court says some local governments that use them could lose state funding. 27 First News Weekend anchor Katie Wilson spoke with the city of Girard. She's live in the studio with how this changes things. Yeah, well, the short answer is this doesn't change things. Well, lots of people have strong opinions on speed cameras. For the city of Girard, they're highly effective. They can keep our money. The little bit of money they give us, they can certainly keep it. Gerard Mayor James Melfi isn't worried about the possibility of losing state funding. He says it's a low blow by the state, but they'll survive. It's a state rep who probably got a ticket or one of his friends got a ticket, breaking the law, speeding, and uh, this is their way of, uh, of retaliation. Melfi says state funds have been cut to about $125,000 a year. The city makes that through speed cameras in a matter of months. It's part of the reason others call the cameras a money ripoff. John Cole's involved in the class action lawsuit against Gerard, arguing drivers were wrongfully ticketed on I-80 back in December. After hearing about the high court's ruling, he says he's glad others feel the same way he does. I'm not the only one that thought it was a money grab. For Cole, it's not about the concept behind speed cameras. He understands they can help cities both with safety and financially. It's the location he feels is a ripoff. How much safer is the city of Gerard because uh, a thousand p a motorists, some from who knows where, got, got a speed ticket from uh, a camera on Route 80? Yeah. Uh, I think it's absurd. Absurd or not, Melfi says the speed cams are going nowhere. His advice to people like Cole? Uh, slow down and follow the law. Now, Melfi told me he expects cities to challenge this decision. We'll be following this case in the coming months, so check our website and newscasts for any updates. Live in the studio, Katie Wilson, WKBN 27 First News.